because I want to tell you a nice little story. So this Shabbat, I was speaking here, and in the corner over there, there was a man with a long beard that I never saw before. After everybody left, this man comes over to me and he says, my grandfather is, was Reb Hillel Zaks. Who's Reb Hillel Zaks? He is the grandson of the Hafez Chaim. In essence, this man is the great, great grandson of the Hafez Chaim. I said, wow, you're the great, great grandson of the Hafez Chaim. That's so cool. Tell me some story about the Havetz Chaim that I never heard before. We all know the famous ones. Tell me something about the Havetz Chaim that I never heard before. He says, I'm going to tell you something. It's not a story, but... He says, and the truth is what he told me, I was hesitant to say in a class. Because you have to appreciate it. But I hope we can explain it and frame it enough that you will appreciate it. He says, you want to hear something unique about the Havetz Chaim? I said, what is it? He says, the Chafetz Chaim did not wear tefillin every single day. I said, what? He says, the Chafetz Chaim did not wear tefillin every single day. I said, why not? He said, because the Chafetz Chaim had a stomach issue. And if a person's stomach and body isn't clean, they're not allowed to wear tefillin. So there were some days that he felt his body wasn't ready to wear tefillin, and so he didn't wear tefillin all day. He says, what's the beauty of this? As you take any person today, any religious Jew today, they would say, come on, I'll find a way, just put on tefillin. No one wants to break their streak. Everyone wants to wear tefillin. I understand body clean, it's almost clean, it's pretty clean. I just, I'm basically okay. Put on the tefillin at least for five minutes. I'm not going to put on tefillin. I'm a great holy person, I'm not going to put on tefillin. You will not find one person on the planet who's genuinely religious and really loves Torah that will skip a day. You will not find the person. I don't care what the halakha says. It doesn't matter matter what the halakha says. They're wearing their tefillin because that's what they feel they're supposed to do. And that's what they know they want to do. Don't tell me about the fact that the halakha says I shouldn't wear it in this way and that way. I'm not missing my streak. I'm wearing the tefillin. But the Chafetz Chaim, very simply, followed the halakha. And when the halakha said one day don't wear it, he didn't wear it. 